Okay, so the algebra class recording failed. I think my computer's memory was full. So these are the questions over here, and these are the answers. Uh, tomorrow's test will be very similar to this. So let me, I'll underline the questions. That's the question. So on greater than, just remember that it sets up as an or statement. It's greater than five or less than negative five. Graph looks like that. On less than, it's, this is the question, this is what we did. It sets up as between that number and its opposite, and the graph is just between those two. So probably most people get one and two right, probably a number of people get three and four wrong. Um, so here was the question, just plus 15, here's the answer. Divide by negative three, when you divide by the negative, the inequality switches. Um, X is on both sides, answer's over there. This, this is just a big one. Um, distributed property, simplifying, all the works in there. And that's the final answer. Okay, nine and 10 are kind of tough. So here's the solve and graph. Here's the question, original question. Um, after you subtract seven on this one, you have a negative x, so you basically have to divide by negative one. So it becomes a positive three, inequality switches. This one's pretty normal. Negative eight thirds is also negative two and two thirds. So I got x is greater than or equal to three or greater than or equal to negative two and two thirds. So I did the floating lines above the graph and because it's an and statement, you only use what they have in common. So where they're both at, That's, that would be everything three and beyond. So the final answer, X is greater than or equal to three. Um, 10, this one freaked people out because there was just a three X and an X. So just like when, like back on six and seven, if you got X's on both sides, you need to subtract the X off one side. So we got 3x minus x, 2x, less than or equal to 0. And divide by 2, we get x is less than or equal to 0. And then this one is, yeah, so divide by 2. So x is less than 4. So that kind of looks like the last one. They're both less than, so they're both going to the left. But because it's an or statement, you use um, where either of them are at is part of the answer. So at least one of them is starting back at four going left. So that was the final answer, x is less than four. Okay, and then solving or absolute values. So remember when you're solving absolute values, you have to set it up as two different things. This equals 10 or this equals negative 10. And then just do normal stuff. And that's what I got for the answer. Uh, absolute value less than, this was like number four, I think it was. You have to set 5x minus 2 between 8 and negative 8 and get x by itself in the middle. Um, absolute value greater than is pretty similar to equals. Uh, you set up greater than or equal to 0 or less than or equal to 0. And it, they both came out as negative three sevens, but this one was greater than or equal to, and this one was less than or equal to. And uh, this does simplify to all real numbers, but um, I, like on the homework I said, I, I, you don't have to simplify it to get the final answer. You can just leave it like that. Um, there really wasn't anything special about the, this one, just solving both for x. Um, you can stop right here, just like we did on the homework. It does simplify to x is just less than 3, but I'm not going to make you do that on the test either. Um, so
So these are basically matching questions. These four go together. And the black are the answers. So if your age exceeds seven, that means you're old, older than seven, greater than seven. If your age is at most seven, you're seven or younger, so X is less than or equal to seven. If you're at least seven, that means you're seven or older, greater than or equal to. If you're not greater than or equal to, the opposite of greater than or equal to, then you're less than. So notice there's one of each. Kind of figure it out by process of elimination. And I kind of ran out of time, but basically I'm going to put a, a word problem on there, something like this. Like your class is raising money for the trip, you, you already have $250, plus you're going to do a car wash for $10 per car, and let's say you want at least uh, $2,000 uh, for your trip. So. You would write 250 plus ten dollars times the number of cars, and if you want at least two thousand dollars, that means you want greater than or equal to two thousand dollars, and just solve that for C. I'll probably put some a problem similar to that on the test for the inequality for the word problem. That's it.